Grand Villa Guest House. Na la bon le bébé seigneurin, adou. Na bon le bébé nyarandirin, coming ibe la fila, ila sou e taranyame. Ntel Grand Villa, na keliano la lafino, wole mou kamotin tel kam. Na ye sabati Grand Villa, ye la kodo na fa kalamuta. Like I know. I saw my love this place. Yes, thank you, thank you. Trust me, I love this place. 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 I guest house do you live abroad and want to build your dream home in the gambia without risking your funds and family ties do you want a household name that is trustworthy and efficient a name that will continue to give you updates on the project from the beginning to the very end with videos and pictures if your answer is yes then worry no more boss construction and asset management is here for you if you live outside the Gambia and want to build your dream home, then this is ideal for you. Just reach out to Boss Construction and let's start building the dream home into a reality. With Boss Construction, the difference is clear. We give you value for money. Some of our services include the following. Construction management, building equipment rentals, rent management, purchase and leasing, asset management and many more. For more information, please contact 282-4945. Better still, send us an email bossgambia at gmail.com or you can also visit our website on www.bossgambia.com. Boss Construction, a name you can trust. Boss Construction and Asset Management, keeping families together. Turn by turn, everything in life is done by turn. Brother man, relax and wait for your turn. Everything in life is done by God. Hey, Diamo Siata, come on, Kelo Siata. Hey, Mobile Africa, make body, and your Kelo Siata. Your Dunner is the playlist, your favorite entertainment show in town, brought to you by your girl Sally Tizi Joke, right here on Kirfato, sponsored by EJ Investments and Baluo. Today, my guest. It's Jizzle. You already know because I sang his song, right? Turn by turn. He's here to promote his concert on the 23rd of November, right at the Independent Stadium. Make it a date. Stay tuned and enjoy this conversation I'm going to have with him. I'm going to make sure he tells you everything you want to know. So stay tuned. Hey, Joanna. Baby girl, you blow my mind. Baby girl, you blow my mind. 
Jizzle again on the playlist. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, how was your press conference, by the way? Oh, uh, it went good. Alhamdulillah. Everything okay. went I good. I see a lot of Media House turned out. Yeah. It seems like everybody is appreciating what you guys are doing now. Yeah. Great. So let's go straight in the conversation. Yes. Um, from a humble beginnings to where you are now, yes. um, you have achieved a lot. Your songs are no doubt playing everywhere in the Gambia. Yes. What efforts did you put together to win the hearts of your fans? It's just uh, simple logic, hard work and dedication. You know, that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So from our previous conversation we had on the playlist, we talked about your album, Finally. What motivated you to come up with an album? And what is the motivation behind your song, Turn by Turn? Yeah, well, um, the album wasn't something I was, I was planning to release anytime soon, but mm -hmm. uh, right after the EP, you know, because I dropped an EP uh, called The Next Big Thing, mm -hmm. you know, to me that was like a test. Mm -hmm. You know, I was testing myself. That's mm -hmm. why um, I dropped a song called The Next Big Thing and then followed by a video and an EP. Mm -hmm. And then I did, I'd done a show at Pinchami. Mm -hmm. So right after the show, to me, everything else I was testing myself with, came out to be, you know, positive. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see myself as the next big thing no more. So finally now, mm -hmm. I'm the big thing. That's how the name finally came, came you know. Okay. So now finally, we used it as a brand. Mm -hmm. Finally the song, finally we've done a video for it. Mm -hmm. Finally, the album, and now finally, mm -hmm. the concert. So everything that has to do with me or achievements or movements or anything mm -hmm. is gonna be uh, um, followed by finally, mm -hmm. like finally I'm back here. Yeah, like finally, you yeah. thought you were the big thing, but now, now finally, finally you are the big thing. Yeah, okay. so that's how we got the finally. So the turn by turn, you know, most of the time um, I build my song around the everyday happenings, mm -hmm. you know, so um, the song turn by turn relates to a whole lot of people because mm -hmm. in the society we are from, you know, mm -hmm. most of us don't want to see our fellow um, brothers or sisters mm -hmm. making it, you know. Yeah. So many hate, so many grudge, so many jealousy, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I, you know, gathered everything up and then drafted it, mm -hmm. went through, went over it over and over again to make sure everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, I had Shy Boy in the studio with me. I brought Andy Official too, so because we all saw the potential mm -hmm. the song had and how far it would like go. And then before we released the album, I called a few few of my artist friends and mm -hmm. you know G suggested that Turn by Turn should be track one on the album mm -hmm. because he yeah. also saw the uh, potential too. So when the song came out and it blew, he messaged me on Inst uh, messaged me on Instagram. He was like, "Hey, you see, I told you, mm -hmm. you know." So yeah, indeed, Turn by Turn is just amazing. Yeah, um, it's one of my jam um, yeah. amongst your songs. Thank you. So. Um, I've noticed, or I would say we've noticed that your songs are very easy for young people to pick up the lines. Right. Because <coughs> turn by turn, everything, everything in life is turned. It's very simple. Yeah. Why did you come up with that strategy in um, choosing to use lines that are very catchy and words that are easy for young people to just grasp on? Yeah, that's, that's music nowadays, you know. People don't really want to hear complicated things, especially complicated music. Everybody. Mm -hmm wants to hear something that... Like 16 straight bars, like... That they would, so they would be able to sing. Yeah. You know, and me, if I'm building a song, I build it around uh, people mm -hmm. that are close to me, you know. I don't just sit and write songs and mm -hmm. go to the studio and just do it. You know, even if they're not going to add up anything, but I'll just mm -hmm. make sure I'm building a song around Sally. Mm -hmm. So if I'm vibing and you hear something that you like, you, you know, you'll obviously jump, yo, this is yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. So that's how I normally... Um, build my songs and I make sure it is as catchy as, you know. It should be. Yeah, it should be for even a little kid to mm -hmm. listen to it and be able to memorize yeah. one or two lines from the song. Yeah. Very simple, yeah. So if I, if I build the songs before it's out, I make sure one, two, three random people, mm -hmm. your musically uh, uh, expert, your musical expert or not, I just make sure you listen to it and mm -hmm. then I'll ask you if you are able to remember any line from the song. If right. that is possible and you do it, mm -hmm. I just don't have no doubt. I just know that. Yeah, you know, everybody comes is just out, feeling it. Yeah. So how many copies have you sold, both digital and hard copies? Well, the last time I checked with uh, my PR, mm -hmm. I think we sold, we had like 
over 500,000 streams on all digital platforms and still counting, you know. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so if anyone wants the copies, how will they get it? Yeah, you just, um, my contacts are uh, on my social media mm -hmm. yeah, platforms. You just link up through email or my manager's number is there. Then yeah. they will tell you where to get it. Yeah. All For right. the online market, you know, the links are all over my social media, my YouTube, my Instagram. You can get the links there to buy the album online. All right. So talking about online and links, um, we've noticed that Plug Inc, New yeah. Music and Universal, both, um, all of them approached you. Yeah. Um, together? Is it, was it together or...? No, I was working with you actually. I had this working relationship with him before mm -hmm. anything else, mm -hmm. since scratch. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to help me with my artwork, designs and for free before, you know. Mm -hmm. And he traveled so we wasn't really doing much. Okay. So when he came back to the country and before he came back, mm -hmm. we were linking and he told me that he's working on a new um, company, plug, blah, blah, blah. And mm -hmm. then I was like, yeah, why not? We could work, you know could do stuff together so I'm the first person the first artist mm -hmm. he officially uh, had a thing with you know and he's the one handling everything that has to do with my social media you know okay yeah. so why did you choose Universal out of all the rest um, to be doing your distribution Yuva was doing it before he was doing it before Universal came but mm -hmm. he saw that Universal is way bigger than his company and more co uh, opportunities come along mm -hmm. with the Universal deal so, so basically, Yuva does distribution deals for artists. Yeah, he's a distributor. He, okay. he does. He handles. For me, he handles my social media, and he made sure that all my songs have been okay. properly, you know, distributed and on all platforms. All right. Yeah. So um, two months ago, you went on a European tour with um, several Gambian artists like right. G, um, Sophia, yeah. the rest, Barham. Mm. How was the experience like? Yeah, it was a great experience. It was a very great experience, you know. I can tell. Yeah, in a whole <laughs> different planet. Yeah. Yeah. How did it feel? It Being felt the good. first time, you know, going for a tour. How did the fans react to your performance? They, they loved it. You know, no doubts. No doubts. Everyone. It felt like I was in, I was back home, you know, mm -hmm. seeing the Gambian people and mixed, you know, both the white and the black ones everyone was you know vibing to the songs and mm -hmm. the sounds were you know do you feel it gives you the um, exposure you need yeah right because since after then i've been having non-stop bookings you know? since then yeah so i felt like it opened a lot of doors you know alhamdulillah about right. that yep did you encounter any challenges like oh i've never performed in this big crowd i'm you know yeah. having nervous breakdowns yeah, I, and all I was that. i was that happened to me in uh, the sweden festival because that one was uh it had like over eighteen thousand people that came mm -hmm. and half of it they are not even people that know you mm -hmm. so before i got on stage i was nervous i was like oh am i even gonna move them you know but immediately i got on stage and um I had my Gambian people there too, and mm -hmm. you know, there's this song that I done, and the Swedish people, even the ones that are not Gambian, mm -hmm. when like the Swedish, you know, they normally hear in December. Yeah. So the Wagwan song was like an anthem, like last year. So most of them they knew the song from clubs and places they went Bad to because girl. yeah, Wagwan. Wagwan. So most of them took the songs <coughs> back. That's mm -hmm. that's how I got the contact with all these dancers from Sweden. Sorry. You know, mm -hmm. because if you can uh, remember, you see that most of my concerts, um, yeah, I have I saw girls white dancers, dancing, yeah. yeah. So I didn't know none of them personally, you know, mm -hmm. it's just through the songs and, you know, they linked me on Instagram, send me a video or two, and then we they came over yeah, and they came over and... Nice. Bad girl, 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 what you say? You did it? Bad girl. Walk one, bad girl. Walk one, bad girl. Walk one, why I say stylish? Me, me, me and you are feel linky. My girl, tell me why you're thinking. Pussy, I'm near the hell. Cause when me done you, you are go link me. Pat it up, pat it up. Don't make me take off me icky. Tell me what's your favorite position. Money anyhow, no la name. Bad girl. Bad girl, 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 bad girl,
you did it. Bad girl, walk one. Bad girl, walk one. Bad girl, walk one. What you say? You did it. Killing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if I give you one, you go stay. Killing. Yeah, you know me don't play. Original bad man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. If I give you one, you gon' stay Girl, you know me don't play Original bad man, they are so They stylish, you girl, them like my thing Them love out the way me a sing Looking for my African queen That will make my heart ting a little uh, Baby, come bend over Your body confirm, ten over Come give me leg over Can you be here, boom, game over have you learned anything from that tour, like um, something that you feel will enhance your craft? Yeah, like being professional and doing things at, on time and mm -hmm. respecting time. And, you know, because these are the, most of the things we face here, you know. Mm -hmm. But out there, I saw how they work, how everything works. And, you know, I'm ready to bring that system here and... Yeah, because I was going to ask you that. A lot of young people um, look up to you guys. Because yeah. whenever um, I have upcoming artists on the playlist, they always tell me I'm looking up to Jizzle or ST or G, like the name continues. Yeah. Um, most of them would say they try to reach out to you, but I'm like, well, maybe you guys need to work harder before you um, have any of these artists to like have a collaboration with you. Even mm -hmm. though they would say, well, um, Davido would just see an upcoming artist and just, you know, help boost that person. Yeah, um, but that, the fact that Davido sees something in that like upcoming artist, yeah, you cannot just work with any artist mm -hmm. because you don't know what their intentions are or mm -hmm. how far they want to go with it. Some just doing it because they just want to have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Some are doing it because of the hype and the pretty girls coming around and things, mm -hmm. you know. So in order for me to work with you, I need to see the same spirit Mm -hmm. in you that is in me all right yeah, i so, don't i don't i don't mind working with anyone okay but i need to see that in you like you need to know yeah, what you're because doing. i used to face the same thing even mm -hmm. before I, I got here i would message some some artists that were big back mm -hmm. then they would they would open my messages and not reply but now i'm working with the same artists and it's easier now because mm -hmm. i didn't relied on them. I wasn't depending on, you know, oh, you need, you need, you know, I'll just send you one or two, three messages, sometimes more than that. Yeah. You know, but then I, those are the things that encouraged me because I'm like, I need to work harder then. Right. Know. So the ones that are not doing it for the fame, the ones that um, want to do it as a career, what yeah. techniques will you give them to say, um, this is what I did, um, follow the footsteps and you would surely be like me or even better? You just work hard. You don't have to watch what the next man is doing. Mm -hmm. You know, just be yourself, believe in yourself, and put time and work in your craft. You know, that's the only, only, only advice I have for every other upcoming artist or artist that is out there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be paying attention to what he's doing or having hard feelings for the next man, you know, mm -hmm. because all those things will just drag you back. It's not yeah. going to take you forward. Mm. Yes, Talking so. about that, um, lately a lot of people have been complaining on social media. Jizzle mm. um, is imitating Nigerians, blah, 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 you know, all the <coughs> negativity. Yeah. Um, how do you react to that? Well, I, me personally, I don't actually react to or, or even reply, uh, respond to those mm -hmm. comments because I see it as um, this is something that is working for me, so why would I stop doing something yeah. that is working for me, something that is putting food on my table for some people that are just saying, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. You know, it's music, you mm -hmm. know. Whatever Nigerians are doing mm -hmm. is representing Africa. Yeah. Whatever I do from this other side of the world, mm -hmm. I'm doing it to rep represent the Gambia and Africa as well. Mm -hmm. So it's African music. So yeah. it's okay if I do it, it's okay if, a, uh, if the next man do it. Because mm -hmm. you see now, uh, even Tanzanians are doing Afrobeat. Yeah. You know, so it's all one Africa. So and I don't know why they keep saying that because most of your songs you speak they should the be even they should be even proud of that because yeah. it's take it's it's putting Gambia up there, you know. Of course. And people outside there, whenever they, 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 they talk about me, they'll be like, You know that Gambian artist, that boy from Gambia, mm -hmm. Jizzle? That's a good thing, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so You're putting the Gambia to the map. Yeah, so I don't really react to those, you know. I just see it as yeah. Some that make sense, mm -hmm. I'll pick from it. 
and elevate myself, yeah. you know. But the ones that I see that it's just, they just want to create noise, I just mm -hmm. allow it and continue with my thing. Right. Yeah. Talking about that before we get into your event, um, yeah. which is on the 23rd of November, yeah. um, your song, Turn by Turn, mm. the video came out, it yeah. <laughs> sparked a lot of noise, yeah. controversial on social media. Yeah. People feel um, it is explicit mm. and that Gambians are not ready for that explicitly because you have a lot of young people that follow Jizzle yeah. and we see you post a lot of young people yeah. reacting to your um, songs on social media. Yeah. Um, don't you think like that song it's um, um, inappropriate for young people in the country? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. But um, the main, 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 main concept uh, mm -hmm. of the video was you know, I know everyone was expecting a vid the video to be like uh, one video of me, you know, in the hood or trying to struggle. You know, mm. that's what everybody yeah. is going to expect if you hear turn by turn, yes. everything. So we flipped it. You know, we flipped the whole concept of uh, the song being a poor boy to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so we changed the whole because even people that are living good life are. Mm -hmm encountering uh, things like this you yeah. you're living good you still have people that are wishing uh, to see your your downfall every day mm -hmm. you know so it's not just about me uh, struggling and having difficulties on my way mm -hmm. we switched it and in the video you see that I was living a good life but at the starting of the video mm -hmm. you saw that I was nothing I came from nothing I was working as a you know constructor with my um, friend mm -hmm. in the video so Few years later, in the video, you see that the, you will see that there is something written on the screen. Few few years later, when I became, you know, something mm -hmm. like I was living a good life. But the friend I had in the mm -hmm. starting that I was grinding with, yeah. I got uh, good things coming my way before him. Mm -hmm. So he had that jealousy and grudge in his heart. You know, even uh, at some point, I had to invite him to my house. In the video, you know, I was just trying to yeah. portray something. You know, I invited him to my house to enjoy that mm -hmm. good time with him. You know, with beautiful women around. Because if you're having good, if you're having a good life, obviously mm -hmm. those are the kind of things you do. Of course, you'll throw parties with your friends. You'll have girls around. Mm -hmm. That's obvious everywhere. Mm -hmm. So him coming to my house, you know, mm -hmm. I gave him the access to everything. But at the end of the video, you see that he was trying to poison me, drug me, to kill me. Mm -hmm. All because of what? Failing to understand that everything in this life is mm -hmm. turn by turn. You mm -hmm. know, he would also live the same lifestyle if he had patience and, you know, believed in what he's doing. But Maybe. instead, he wanted me to suffer mm -hmm. and, you know, have nothing and just because of, you know, greediness. So basically, you, you looked into the bigger picture yeah. than just acting directly yeah. to the song turn yeah. by turn and you wake up poor you you hustle and now you make it because i don't i've done videos like that i've done two videos that are similar to that mm -hmm. the next big thing video you saw that i had nothing i was just one boy and all of a sudden i was signing a contract mm -hmm. you know if you watch those videos yeah. you will see that you know Absolute man of the year to yeah that. man of and right after the contract mm -hmm. everything changed i was living a star life you know mm -hmm. getting off the car cameras yeah. and you know, and the man of the video everywhere. to, yeah. yeah, the man of the video to, it was from the hood mm -hmm. in the Banju uh, streets. And then we ended up at the, you know, in town, nightlife okay. and things. So I didn't want to do more of that. It mm -hmm. will now start looking like I'm doing the same thing over and over again okay. from my own side, you know. Okay. So we, me and the director decided to do something different. And it's good that people are talking about it because that way the video is now big. You know, yeah. we had like for the first time, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, having like over 100,000 views in just one week, less wow. than one week. That's nice. You know, so it's good that... Controversial sales. Yeah, yeah. So I have no problem with that, you <laughs> right. know, as long as it's going, it's mm -hmm. not... Dropping, so it's good. Yeah. yeah, so... Okay. Turn by turn, everything in life is turn by turn. Brother man, relax and wait for your turn. Everything in life is turn by God. Yeah, yeah. Turn by turn, everything in life is turn by turn. Brother man, relax and wait for your turn. Everything in life is turn by God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, be love the comic, but I know you lose
song in case yeah um we've noticed that you talked about baby i'm a star just in case other girls come around me you know <laughs> and um shout out to aisha i see her yeah. um she kissed you without you noticing yeah. and left her um lipstick on your shirt yeah and you purposely drop it on the bed yeah. <laughs> For no, no, I didn't. I didn't purposely. Try what did you do? <laughs> Were you trying to show her that other girls kiss no, me, or thing, I'm a star that should worry me to no. do stuff and you forgive me? Or if you if you watch the video, mm -hmm. I was showing how the lipstick got to my shirt. I didn't mm -hmm. notice that it was on my shirt. I just came back from wherever I was coming back from, mm -hmm. and then I came to the house. You know, tired. When you're yeah. tired, you don't even have to look because yeah, yeah, yeah. Course. It was night, so I took off the shirt and threw it on the floor, on mm -hmm. the bed. Went to the toilet and. My phone rang. Mm -hmm. It was the same girl that she's the fan, obviously, mm -hmm. in the video. Yeah. So she saw me and then she came to me and you know blah blah had a chat and yeah. she wanted a picture and a hug. Mm -hmm. So that's when she had her lipstick mm -hmm. on my shirt intentionally. Like she, yeah. That's, intentionally. That's what it seems yeah. like. Yeah. So when I got home, I took the shirt and my phone rang. Mm -hmm. She saw the phone ringing mm -hmm. at the same time. Saw my shirt like what? Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That was the whole idea. Yeah. Just in case. All the girls come around trying to take me away from you Baby, you're my number one Yeah, just in case You see lipstick on my shirt You have to know, say it ain't my fault Fatima, you're my number one Yeah, baby, I'm a star Star This is how it is, like to be a fucking star Star, baby uh, Baby, I'm a star Star. This is how it is, like to be a fucking star. Star. Bang, bang. Yeah. You know, pre them, them are pre yo. Every girl wanna be yo. That is why them are gone my way. Yeah. Don't you worry about these hoes. I will never let them close. Every time them are gone my way. Yeah. Me, I give you my assurance. Them a love buka, them a love buka, buka. Some of them are just my fans. Them a love buka, them a love buka, buka, buka. Why are you tripping when you know that I am for you, baby? Just in case other girls come around, trying to take me away from you. Baby, you my number one. Just in case you see lipstick on my shirt, you have to know say it ain't my fault. Fatima, you my number one, yeah. Baby, I'm a star, star. This is how it is, like to be a fucking star, star, baby. Yeah. You know, so if you're a star, obviously. Your girlfriend would have to be going through stuff yeah, like I'm that. Yeah, I'm gonna come up to that stuff because so many people say, like, tell Jesus, just because you're a star, does that warrant you to not be loyal to your girl? Like, it'd be, yeah. it's a general question. As a star, yeah, should you say, or oh, because I'm a star, you should expect that girls would come, you know, and things like this will happen? Do you think um, a star should excuse himself to that? Well, uh, it depends. People are different, mm -hmm. you know. Being a star, expecting it or not expecting it, mm -hmm. you will run away from it the, your whole life. Girls mm -hmm. will still come after you. Mm -hmm. Being married, not being married, mm -hmm. that's just star life. You'll have girls coming, texting you, I like you, I this, you know, it's all love. It's, I'm mm -hmm. not saying that most of them are groupies, but girls would just come generally. Of course. You know, every star needs that kind of, you know, thing with the girls. So now it's just up to you to handle or know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. If you want to play along, you just play along. If you want to keep it cool, 
you keep it cool, but they, that wouldn't stop them from coming. Okay, so which means your partner or your girl, whoever has is, to understand has to understand that okay. you're a star. All right, so let's talk about November 23rd. It's yeah. fast approaching, everybody is excited, including myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, what should we expect? Uh, super. Super. Something what, that what has... What difference will um, this all come with? A big difference, as usual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all my shows are no bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying because I need to make this clear, you know. Because mm -hmm. most of us sometimes we just say things that are not done, or we say things that we don't end up doing, and then the fans will be complaining. I say I show I'm the day, but if I die, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. You know. So um, all the things that you have been seeing on social media or hearing me say or my team mm -hmm. are things that we are planning to bring on uh, stage and inside the stadium that night. You know, mm -hmm. none of it is false information you know so that day everything else is going to be different you know from the performances to st the setups and everything mm -hmm. you know let the gambians expect something big because this night has been you know giving me tough time right you know I've been, sleepless nights yeah so it shouldn't just be a night that i'll just come on stage and sing and mm -hmm. go it has to come with a whole full package mm -hmm. so yeah i'm ready you know all right. Yeah. So if anyone wants tickets or like a pre-sale ticket, how do they how do they access this? Yeah, the pre-sale tickets are out in the streets, mm -hmm. you know, today. Mm -hmm. So um, all you have to do is visit the nearest Atlas Energy st uh, Energy gas stations. They're mm -hmm. selling it. Max Caesars, mm -hmm. Alibaba Turntable, you know. Uh, Brikama people, they can get it at uh, Salis. Mm -hmm. There's a restaurant there called Salis. Yeah, and few other agents are going to be having it. You know, okay. time to time I'll be posting uh, numbers of them mm -hmm. on my Instagram and other social media pages. So, All right. yeah, the viewers can just go to my pages and, you know, follow the information. They will find numbers to their, maybe their, the nearest locations because we have one in Gunjur, Pase. We have all over the, the nation, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you just message us on social media or um, because my number stupid. Kram, my, Kram was one number guy. So it's more there. <laughs> yeah, you but, mean to yourself. Ah, wow, G. Wow, G. All right. So, so um, how many artists will be performing? Um, like, just maybe name a few artists. Yeah. You have many will be there. Yeah, I'm going to be featuring uh, the artists that I had so I did song with on my mm -hmm. album from Senegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hakil is going to be BMJ around. BMJ or? Yeah, BMJ is going to okay. be around too. Samba Pussy is gonna be around. One oh. Lyrical is gonna be around. You know, they're all ready to come support the show. You know, nice. Yeah, and um, my Gambian brothers, to Gambia's finest. You know, um, I'm gonna have my brother Attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, G is gonna be there. T Smalls, mm -hmm. Mighty Joe, Atenola. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Hussein, mm -hmm. Chanta. You know, the whole entire industry actually. Everyone is. Nice. The show is for all of us. You know. Okay. It's not just Jizzle. If this show is a success, it's for the whole Gambia music scene. How about scene. me? Can I perform? You're going to be there. <laughs> You're going to be my backup. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yes. you have a responsibility um, in society. Yeah. As an artist, mm -hmm. what role are you playing in peace building? Peace building? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just spreading love. You know, spread love. That's mm -hmm. all I. Uh, that's what I tell everyone. You know, it doesn't matter where you're from or what you do. Mm -hmm. Love is all. Love is the answer. You know, we have to support and love one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I just spread the love. Nice. Because if there's no love, there will be peace. Of course. Yeah. And Gambia is known for peace. Yeah. Small, beautiful country. Um, it's called the Smiling Coast. Yeah. And we should represent yeah. what it means. Yeah. So, um, as a, as an artist, as a role model, I think. That is very important to yeah. spread love. Yeah. So, a few questions before we end the show. Yeah. How will you spend a million dollars? If an investor today say, um, Jizzle, I want to invest a million dollars, oh. how will you spend it? I would just try and work with more, more, more producers mm -hmm. because there are some producers that I've, I heard of and I, uh, I see on on internet every day mm -hmm. that I really love to work with and I know if I have. Um, the access to work with them, it will take my music to another level. I would just spend, because you just said a million. If mm -hmm. I told it was millions, then I would be mentioning a few other so things. things yeah. yeah, but right now, 
in order to get those millions, mm -hmm. I need to invest on my music. So I'll just invest on either videos or trying to reach out to bigger producers that, mm -hmm. you know, can change the sentence. Yeah. Yeah, so. So music is um, the fastest growing business in Africa, I would say. Yeah. So many people that um, venture into it are reaping the fruit of their labor. Yeah. So do you think in Gambia there's possibility that artists can make it like live the dream like what Whiskey is doing, David O is doing. Do you think there's um, opportunity in Gambia in it, terms of music? It is possible. It depends on how you go about your, your business, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and how serious you take it. It is, it is really, mm -hmm. really possible, you know. We can all make it here. We can build our big, big mansions mm -hmm. of music, you know, depending on how we go about it, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Um, it seems like you guys get more support from young people. Yeah. What will you say to the older generation that have money and, for instance, the promoters yeah. that instead will, be, will bring other artists from other countries? Mm -hmm. Because it seems like Yen Yen Adigina Tahawal's own shows come mm -hmm. very rare. I guess promoter about how they have to be in the Gambian sea together, they have to be in the Gambian show, come in there, they have to be in the Gambian show. I mean, I'm not disrespecting his hustle. Mm -hmm. He's making money. Yeah. He's he's an artist. Anyone could order the fanyo. But come here, mina hamne amulen lono ne fir gam bi gam bi afin yena kule de parasen bopa. How do you guys feel about this? Come being Gambians, yena am promoters fini and do yena de support yena yena de fali yipsen bopa. Yeah, uh, I think someone that uh, did done that like twice. Mm -hmm. I know two people that did it. Mm -hmm. The biggest in the game concert that I, I did with my guys, mm -hmm. Nobles. Yeah, it was um, hosted by this promoter, mm -hmm. but she didn't want to be in the picture, so she just paid us and then, you know, had, we headlined the show. Okay. And the Champions in Action too, you know, that one was done by someone I knew too, I knew too mm -hmm. you know. He paid like few gambling artists and brought all of us to one stage. That was in Pinchami, mm -hmm. not long, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, you know, all I have to say to, uh, say to them is, you know, invest, you know, they, have, they need to believe in us. We mm -hmm. can do it. You know, we can do it. All these people that are coming here to make money, they make money and go back to, to their places, to their mm -hmm. territories and invest. So, you know, in order for us to master our crafts and, you know, elevate ourselves, mm -hmm. we need them so to support us, you know, to give us the funds and invest in us, you know, that way mm -hmm. we can build ourselves up and become stars like the stars they're working with mm -hmm. you know that way it will even be easier mm -hmm. you know for them to also do shows knowing that they've been there for us it will be easier for the work mm -hmm. you know yeah so investment is all that is needed right now and support right both here and outside they need to be also gathering up artists like the swedish trip you know mm -hmm. few if if not us again but few other five or six artists they mm -hmm. just fly them for a tour or something, you know, because the people there, they, they appreciate the work, you know, right. the Gambians there, so they also want to see us there because most of them cannot come because of one or two reasons. So mm -hmm. these are things that they need to look into and, you know, make it possible and happen. Right. Yep. Last <coughs> question before we wrap up the show. Yeah. What will you say to people that want to bring competition between you and ST? Me and ST, we are family, mm -hmm. so we don't see the competition. It's normal, that's just, it happens in every music industry. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, you will have Sadawali and Stone Boy. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, you will have uh, Whiskey, Whiskey and Davido. Yeah. So it's normal, I just see it as something that is normal. Maybe the fans don't understand, mm -hmm. understand but me and him, we have a brotherly relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no, nothing different. You know, right. We're still going to keep it 100. We support each other mm -hmm. on events and, you know, and that will continue, you know. There is nothing like competition in this uh, music industry because we are all representing the same Gambia. And if it works for him, it works for me too. It will help me in one way or the other. It mm -hmm. will open a door for me. Right. So if it works for me too, it will work for him and maybe few other artists. So let them just put the difference and the competition there, you know. We are all yeah, representing the same. Yeah, support each other as Gambia. I mean, you guys are representing Gambia, not representing yourselves as, an, as individuals. Yeah. So. I mean, it's normal to have a fan, mm -hmm. but I feel come sometimes that they're necessary. No. Because during your press conference, I saw the comments. I mm. couldn't make it because I was editing a video. I was supposed to come with my cameraman. Yeah. But I saw um, the, the, the comments on the comment session. Mm. 
-hmm. But some people I feel anyways, need connect with some majority from Embrek. So <laughs> it is what it is. So what are you going to say to people watching you? Yes, um it's all about November twenty third, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, um I'm just gonna tell everyone to go get their tickets right now because we are avoiding disappointments, you know, mm -hmm. at the gate. We want everybody to come in time and um to ensure everyone that the security and the ground is gonna be secured, you know, everybody's mm -hmm. safety is gonna be our concern that night. You mm -hmm. know, we spoke with few um, security companies, the anti-crime, they give, they're giving us like over 30 men. Wow. And um, the security unit at Banjo, the, mm -hmm. the Choi, they're giving us over 80 men. And yeah, this precise mm -hmm. security group too, they're giving us close to 80 men. So that's enough to be. So the security is tight. Yeah, so if we have bad guys in the building, no problem, you all can come. Mm -hmm. But just know that if you come and try doing anything bad there, you're going to be, be carried away. <laughs> you're yeah. not even going to stay there. They're just going to take you. You're not going to be in the stadium. And mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So everybody's safety is going to be proper, properly taken care of. And just come on time freely. You're going to be free in the stadium. You can do anything you want to do. So when is it starting? Your says, Munga Solsa week, Bushe, Bugina share. Yeah, I'm going to hit at least because they're going to your phone. Yeah, so the security is tight. And buy the tickets 200 before. Mm -hmm. 300 at the gate and 500 VIP. Yo, man, I'm gonna, yeah, we want to make sure reasonable. everyone affords it and everyone shows out, shows mm -hmm. up, and we have a great night. All right. Yes. So, as you all heard, um, make it a date. Come support the brother. Yeah. It's the finally concert at the Independent Stadium in Bacau. So, make it a date and do no way to be told. Done. No. Bye. <laughs>
line def no line def no line def ñoy ñew ak yeen rek skin care plus nara jakarlo ak yeen waxtan ak yeen tuti rek ci suñu tube suñu bax bax e muñ rek ci ay diw waye comme ni ngeen ko xamé rek dañoo yëngu ci ay tube te yëngu nak ci jos any tube suñu tube bu nekk five stages na la five stages na moy jess na bi gëna gëna pire mom la ñoo tube palman bi gëna four mom la ñoo liggéey ah uh, buñ demé bamako ñun duñ dem ci marché bi rek bub indi dedet dañ leena jox suñu specs ne lañ ni lañ ko bëggé na lañ ko bëggé food bi ñaar nangami food lañ bëgga pour mu mëna set wow tube skin care dedet do ko sol mu di la taxa all over the place ci gatal ñun rek ci tube dara do doy bay dess not only dañoo tube but bu la ni xé ñu tubeal la ba paré nak ñawal la ñaw fim gëna sété nak rek lañu fulé ñetti ñaw kat lañ am am nañ ñaw kat di simple nga xamné wi no xopati rek ba def sa tayba def sa dagit def sa roba amut ben dawme am nañ ko xamné mo ñoo dawme dawme jigen den am nañ tamit special ñaw kat bo xamné ñewi goor rek lañu defal nga bëgg sa hisan hers muy korété muy tobaski ba muy ngenté muy taka ba nga bëgg rek yi no def sa yëk bu baaxa baaxa baax daagul ba ñew skin care plus ñu dimbali la tan la ciupam gëna baxé ndax sa yëk gëna for li ngëne lan xol bi bi takala skin care feel of legion day we not all about skin we are skin care and the plus and the plus does come in so many different ways <laughs> talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. But don't you know about baluo baluo what is baluo baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about exchange rates tell me how baluo works it's very simple just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, 
better than sending money.